That's me there, having that moment of regret that hits a man right before the ground hits him, right before death. When your bygones are really gone and you've made a thousand wishes for a different ending. Don't worry about me though. This is just a dream, a vision. It's been haunting me now for the past six months. As dark as this vision is, it wouldn't be much of a surprise to anyone that knows me, myself included. Perhaps you would agree. Here's my story. My name is Timothy Bluth. Here I am rowing towards the X-Zone. A beaten man, a drunk, some say. With a dead daughter and an ex-wife who would rather me dead than alive. I'm a private eye. A sleuth. I was hired to track down Scott Denton, a wealthy businessman who was last seen heading this way. Why anyone would want to head to the X-Zone is beyond me. I mean, I could see it back in the day, back when these islands were still normal. Back when the sun still shone here. Back before things went dark. Mysterious spate of rain and fog engulfed the Pearl Islands. People vanish. Pearl Islands mystery deepens. Pearl Islands dubbed X Zone. Off limits to public. A decade later, X Zone continues to yield no answers. Millionaire businessman missing. Hello there gamers, I am VA Bit Ninja, and today we are here with a brand new game called Spate. This is a very interesting adventure steampunk platformer which I have been watching for quite some time now and I am very excited that it is here. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get started. But yeah, I've been watching this game for quite a while now. I've been watching all of the updates that I've been that they have been posting. Uh, there have been few, but they have all been very interesting. Now, the main thing that really drew me into this game is the visuals. I absolutely love the look of this game. It looks amazing, and of course, I always love a good platformer. Um, and so far, the voice acting is it's fantastic, and so is the story uh, from what I have seen. All right, hello, robot man. Hello, human. Hi there. Have you... Do you like lamps? Lamps? Uh, have you seen a steamship pass by? There's a missing man. He was last seen traveling this way. Do you like lamps? No. I don't know. No. How can you not like lamps? You're crazy, aren't you? I'm crazy. You're the one who won't stop talking about lamps. Where there, when there are more important things going on. Like what? Like the missing man or thousands of people that disappeared here a decade ago? I didn't disappear. I can see that. Thank you. Have you ever seen a lamp that looks like a harlot's leg? What? The best, right? Have you seen any living things here, or yes or no? Nope. But I've been stuck here for a while now. I can't reach that green button up ahead. Green button. I think we can reach that. Let's go for it. Uh, press jump a second time while in the air to do a double jump. Simple enough. Should be useful. Um, but yeah, we play the character of this... We play the role of this uh, detective. Uh, detective Bluth. So I'm very interested to hear his story. Um, Ex-wife, dead daughter. Very sad tale. Uh, can I go? Yes, there we go. Um, but yeah, the story seems pretty great. The graphics, of course, look fantastic. Uh, I, I think, I believe this, this project, uh, or this game was made by only a few people. It's made by a very small team of, I believe, three people, one programmer, uh, one designer, and one storyteller person. I, I, I don't know entirely, um, <laughs> but it does seem very interesting, and I'm super excited to take a look at this. Uh, press down to crouch, and left slash right to crouch walk. I'm on it. Alright, pretty nice looking log there. Hmm. Uh, all right, so get up there. Um, now I do I believe this, this game. Case as oh, a way of hiding from the pain caused by my daughter's death. It's been years now, and I still see her everywhere. 
even on these Whoa. rain soaked islands. All right. Um, I, but what I was saying is I do believe this game is actually uh, rather short, so it shouldn't last us too long, but I, I do want to make the most of it this and really enjoy man. this. I couldn't find a lick of dirt on the fella. So what the hell was he doing out here? No one enters the X zone. Sure, this place used to be beautiful. Pearl Islands, they call it. The kind of place you take your family for a long weekend. The kind of place you go to let your troubles breeze away instead of chasing them down like reckless filibuster. But this place hasn't seen the sun for over a decade. Not since the poisonous storm rolled in and swallowed it whole. Hmm. Alright, so I did see something about taking a drink. Which button? That one? Yes, that's it. Alright, side effects may occur. And everything is super stretchy okay oh wow and we can jump really high too all right that's pretty cool hmm I'm guessing that's gonna be a mechanic later on and we'll need that to get over some of the platforming uh, because this is a platformer that is the main you know sort of mechanic of the game is just straight up platforming and the platforming does seem pretty great and you guys know uh, that I do love a good platformer hmm these crates have the businessman's company logo on them it's not much to go on, but it does link the businessman to the X zone. And it certainly gives me enough to keep moving on. Yes, a clue. We have found a clue. A box, a couple of crates. That's nice. Oh, gosh. All right. I'm guessing we got to jump on this. Yep. There we go. That is a floating tree. What is happening here? This place is awfully... Strange. Wait, I wanna... Let's see what happens when I take a drink. That's one weird looking tree. <laughs> oh, it looks like it's gonna actually come crashing down, so I think uh, we better get out of the way here. Ha. Huh. Another blackout. It's been almost a week since my last. Not bad. Just another lovely side effect of the drink. Hmm. Okay. So I'm not sure if that's like a part of the story or just a way of covering up the loading screens. I'm guessing it's mostly for the loading screens, in which case, you know, that's pr that's actually pretty cool. I do like it uh, when they do come up with some interesting way to cover that up, you know, that fits with the story. So I like that. I do like that. All right. Swinging along on the chains. Oh, there we go. So I'm guessing... From what I've seen, the platforming doesn't look too difficult. I imagine it'll probably... Uh, I, I imagine I haven't seen all of the platforming yet. Uh, but from the gameplay that they have posted, uh, the game... the Oh, hello again. Hmm, I hope you guys... I saw my daughter in that fog. Yeah, I saw her too. Uh, but I hope you guys can actually see that. Sometimes that covers things up. But the, the, the daughter's face uh, keeps just showing up. It's not... Is she here, baby? No, that seems... I think he's just seeing things. He is a drunk after all, so... You know, they see things. Oh, no! I jumped too early! Oh, no! Oh, I didn't... I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to double jump, and I, I jumped too early. Okay. No, no, no! Do not do it! Oh, okay. That was really bad. Oh. <laughs> Let's not do that a third time. I need to stop spamming the jump button. I just keep trying to double jump right before I reach the chain, and oh gosh, that was close. I keep trying to double jump and just failing miserably. Okay, go. There we go. Alright, grab it. Can I make this? I can make that. There we go. That double jump, really helpful. Ooh, rolling balls. Okay, we'll go after this second one here. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, over. Okay. Oh no. Oh, oh. Alright, really thought we were going to die there, but we're good. Yes, I got this. I got this, okay. I don't want any of these falling on my head. Yeah, there we go. So, whoa. I died tr I died twice on the uh, super easy chain, but not on the rolling balls, the so that's cool. Absinthe is burning through me now. I'm quickly reminded of why I drink absinthe. It's the only thing I have left that makes me feel alive. A tiny spark of what things once were. 
what they used to be. Is that really such a bad thing to want? Hmm. Well, I guess if you if you put it that way. Oh, what is? Hello. Hello. You seem calm for having run into a giant creature with horns. You think so? It's easy being calm when you know what you're seeing is not real. Ah, yes, right. You think I'm just an illusion caused by that little drink of yours. I suppose you don't think the man in the tower is real either. Man in a tower? Nobody. Here, if I'm not real, then I imagine you could probably just walk right through me. Hmm, can I? I suppose I can. Ha! That tickles. All right. That okay, was odd. Well, no two ways about it. That was weird. <laughs> uh, it definitely was. It definitely was. All right. Um, kind of makes me think that that guy might have actually been real. Maybe I don't know. I might just be stretching things here. All right, another blackout. Hmm. Now it definitely seems like a, a loading mechanic, but I that's that's okay, I like it. Hello, I'm a robot. It's nice to meet you. Yes, I know we've already met, buddy. No oh, right, right. You're the guy from Egypt that likes spaghetti and juggling. No. That's that's I have no clue who that is. Oh. Have you seen a man come by here? Chubby fell in a suit. Nope. Haven't seen him. Will you be my friend? Sorry, buddy. I like being alone with my drink. Plus, I'm too busy investigating a disappearance to be making friends. Okay, have a nice day. Alright. That was an odd encounter. Uh, we seem to be having plenty of those. But that's okay, because they're interesting. Alright, I can make that. There we go. Hmm... I do like odd encounters, though. Frankly, they're they're rather My entertaining. Daughter, she was a ball of energy. My ex-wife had a good way of putting it: spirited. She was a spirited little girl. Hmm. Spirited. I'm guessing we'll probably end up seeing her at some point, like alive, not dead. I just just my guess. Uh, maybe it'll be an illusion. Maybe it'll be somebody's recreation to keep us away. That could be interesting. I'm just making guesses towards what's going to happen in the story. That's how I do it. Well, I couldn't find a whole lot on this businessman. It's not like he was a square. He didn't seem the type to run the straight and narrow. Perhaps he got caught up into something. Something bad. Something <laughs> ugly. Something bad and something ugly. Do we ever take into account that he could be in that evil, weird, horny thing's belly? I mean, I don't imagine that looks very nice. Hmm. Alright, that was a really bad attempt at a joke. So, please feel sad for me because that was terrible. <laughs> okay. Um. Alright, it looks like the platform is getting a little bit more difficult. Still, I'd say it's uh, not challenging. But frankly, I did say that about Pid, and everybody thought Pid was ridiculously hard. I still... I love Pit, everybody. No, 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 no. Ah, can I make it? Can I make it? Oh, I made it. Okay. That was really close. Okay. I didn't notice that we didn't have any platforms down there and almost fell into my death. But I did not. I did not. So I'm happy. All right. Hmm. Oh, this looks fun. Yeah, there we go. Oh, no. No, don't hit me. That was close. You almost got me. All right, please don't take me back over there. Thank you. Huh. All right, I've definitely I've gotten into the swing of the platforming. Whoa. Another blackout? Come on, we were just getting to the interesting stuff. All right. I'm guessing we're probably going to have to go up there, but I want to I want to check out down here cuz I did I do believe I remember hearing about some secrets or something like that like there's secrets that you can find throughout the game and I wanna I wanna try and find at least a few of them I mean I like doing that it's fun I haven't seen any yet though and okay here let's go ahead push the button oh giant oh wait we gotta run 
Go, go, go. Can I take fall damage? I hope not. I can't. Okay. Alright, so we got this thing over here. We gotta let the ball roll and bounce us up. Come on. Okay. Get on this end. No. Get on the other end. Get on the other end. Oh, that was close. <laughs> I almost got smashed by it. But, I did not. <clears throat> okay. Wow. Hey, floating stones. That's something you don't see every day. Probably just the drink giving me more reason. Hmm. This guy keeps saying it's the drink, but I, I really, I don't think it is. I don't think it These is at all. These remind me of the first date I ever went on with my wife. Boy, was she a looker. It was a blind date. I met her at a little cafe on the water. It was a windy day. I made my way around the corner and the first thing I saw was her hair. Dancing with the wind. For me, it was love at first sight. For her, well, for her it was just sight. <laughs> All right. I really, I love the voice acting in this. It's pretty fantastic. It's probably putting my voice to shame, but that's okay. I'm totally all right with it because the story is pretty fantastic too. Man, this is a long bridge. As I made my way up the bridge, I could see that something wasn't right. It was the businessman's steamship. It was hmm. parked, running idle. I could see a slumped form crumpled over a crate. You could tell the life had run out of him. Oh, no. Robot, what happened here? All I know is that he shot himself. I saw it. I do not know if I believe that. Hmm. All right, well, I'd say that's probably a good place to end this first episode. Very interesting game. It comes out on March 27th, so you got a few days still, but I would definitely suggest pre-purchasing it. There are the links in the description below. It is coming out on Steam. However, I don't believe uh, there is a page up for it on Steam yet. I will, of course, link that as soon as there is one. Uh, until then, you can pre-purchase it on their website. That is, of course, linked in the description below, though. Uh, that's going to be it for today. Be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. This has been the 8-Bit Ninja with episode 1 of Spate. Peace out, the 8-Bit Ninja.